Hey everyone, this is Dan from DHTV and I'm going to be showing you today how to use a Bluetooth mouse with your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Let's get started. Alright, for this example, I'm going to be using the Apple Magic Mouse. This is the first generation, but you can use any Bluetooth mouse you might have at home. Keep in mind though, if you're planning to purchase one specifically for this feature, make sure it works first before you buy it. Second, as long as you have an iOS 13 or later device, you should be able to use this feature. So we'll start by opening up our settings application and you want to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled, which mine is. We're then going to tap on the accessibility tab and then we'll tap on touch. From here, we'll tap assistive touch and we'll turn it on. When you do that, you'll see a digital button appear at the bottom. And in the past, a lot of people used this so that they could access their home button when it broke on previous generation iPhones. There's a lot of cool features built within it. If you want to learn more about that, there's a link in the description and it'll teach you how assistive touch works. But we're going to focus on how to use this cursor with our mouse. So we're going to go to the devices section. We'll tap there. We'll tap Bluetooth devices. And from here, it's going to begin searching. So you want to put your mouse in its Bluetooth mode, however it's done, and just wait for it to find it. Now, when it is connected, you'll see a cursor appear here. You may or may not see your mouse name here. You might have to tap on it to enable it. But for me, it connected by itself, probably because I've done this before but keep that in mind. But once you have the cursor here, we'll just go back to devices. You'll also see your name for the mouse there as well. But you can see that I can move around the cursor. And by default, my left click is going to open any kind of tab or any application I choose. So I'm gonna click on my mouse name again. And you can see we have two buttons here. The first button is our left click, which is just a single tap. And we can configure this by tapping on it. And you can choose any one of these options. You can also use the second button, which is your right click, to perform other tasks. And by default, it opens up the menu. So, for example, it'll open up that menu at the bottom, which allows me to access any one of these features, for example, going all the way home. Now, while on the home screen, you can use your mouse just like it was your finger. So, tapping would be a click, and then you can even drag that click over so you can move between pages on your screen. You can pull down to access your spotlight, click away, you can even pull down Control Center from the top. You can open applications by just clicking on them. You can search by clicking the search bar and then just typing like you would normal and then clicking on the website that you find. Now scrolling, you would click and then drag upwards just like you would with your finger. You can set a gesture if you have enough buttons on your mouse to actually just click it and it would scroll up automatically. But I find this to be pretty easy, especially with the mouse, and it works just fine. It's very intuitive, very easy to work with. And additionally, if we just go back into our settings here, we'll take a look at pointer style and you can change the size of the cursor. So now it's bigger. You can also change the color of the cursor. So if you prefer, let's say green, you can have the cursor green, orange, white, it's totally up to you. You can customize it any way you want. Now there's an auto hide feature that's set to 15 seconds. You can change that duration so that it's longer or shorter. Once it's gone, all you have to do is simply click. It'll come back and you'll have your cursor back just like normal. So I hope you guys found that helpful and enjoyable. If you did hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification icon, and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions. I do my best to answer all of the comments that come my way. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.